Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm a guy called Joe and this is Bootstrapping Tools Let's Build, where we help scrappy bootstrappers just like yourself figure out how to overcome some of the hurdles that they're facing when they're trying to optimize their businesses or even if they're just trying to optimize their own individual workflows and operations. Now, before we dive into today's topic, make sure to check out our YouTube channel. We got lots of videos up there that go through all sorts of low code and no code solutions out there, including Retool, Google Sheets, Data Studio, Google Apps Scripts, Airtable, as well as many others. If you don't see what you're looking for, feel free to shoot an email over to feedback at bootstrapping.tools. We'll be happy to take a look at that application and possibly make a video just for you. Now, in today's topic, we're going to be talking about connecting Retool to your Firebase account, specifically Firestore. Now, if you don't know what Firebase is, it's another uh, um, service that Google provides. It's a really easy way to set up your hosting, your databases, analytics, um, authentication, and it's really easy to build apps off of. So a lot of people have used Firebase in order to get their apps up and running. Now, if you're using Retool, Retool is a great low code um, solution out there, which actually gives you the ability to write a lot of code if you want to, but only if you want to. But it is considered a low code application where you can build internal tools really quickly on top of your databases. So if your database is Firebase and Firestore, in this video, we're gonna go over how you can connect that account over to Retool so that you can start building applications on top of your Firebase data. But let's go ahead and dive into it. Uh, so we're gonna go over to Retool first. All right, so up on the screen, we have our Retool resources page, and this is where we're gonna go in order to actually create the connection to Firebase. So up on the top uh, right, we're gonna see a create new button. We're gonna click on that in order to actually create the new uh, resource that we want to connect and then underneath the API section you can see Firebase. Uh, it's got that nice little orange logo So we want to click on that and that's going to bring us over to the page where we can actually put in all the parameters we need in order to Create the connection now for this uh, for someone who might not you know be used to all this This might seem a little daunting. It's got a lot of parameters in here. Don't worry about it this is actually something that's literally just a copy and paste. We're going to go over there to the uh, service accounts We're going to generate this file I'm going to copy and paste it right in here so it'll be super simple um, so let's actually go through all these fields you know first thing we're going to do is we're going to do name uh, so name let's let's call this firestore demo uh, keep it simple and then the firebase database url and then the firestore project id you know those are actually going to come uh, in a pair because the project id goes into your database url and all you essentially do is you take the database url um, so firebaseio.com and then you prepend the subdomain with the firebase project id so what we're going to do here is we're going to go over to our Firebase Project Console. Retool actually gives you a nice little link here in their helper text. So when we click on that, it's going to open up a new tab. And within that new tab, we're going to select the project that we want. For us, it's going to be bootstrapping tools. And then we're going to click on the little gear on the upper right. And then you're going to select project settings from there. So within your project settings, you're going to see project ID. So go ahead and just copy that and then go back to Retool. I'm going to paste that into your project ID field. And then for, for the database URL, like I said, you know, it's going to be HTTPS, you know, for secure, paste in your ID for the project, and then you're going to do firebaseio.com. And that's it. Super simple. Now, the hard part, which is only slightly harder, it's really not that much harder, it's going to be creating service accounts. So up on the tab, you're going to see a service accounts option. And within here, this is where you're going to uh, find this Firebase admin SDK. You could do it like this if you wanted to, but this requires you going through command line uh, or terminal. Um, you could, but there's an easier way. And that easier way is basically just click on the link that says service accounts. That's going to bring you over to your Google Cloud um, console. And then within here, you're going to select service accounts from the left hand menu bar. That's going to take you over to all the service accounts that you have for your project. Uh, we already created one, but let me show you the page and what it looks like. Essentially, it's just going to create a service account name. Uh, that's going to generate the service account ID area. When you click on the create and continue, um, then you're going to have to grant it options or roles to it. For, for what we're doing with Firebase, you're going to want to connect it uh, to the cloud data owner or cloud database owner. Uh, and also the Firestore database owner. And those two roles will give you the permission you need in order to access all the data that we want from Firebase. So let's uh, dive into it. Once you create it, just go ahead and click into that. And you're gonna see an option for keys up on the top. 
this one over here. So when you click on that, that's going to bring you over to the service keys. We're going to add a key. So once you click on that, create a new key, make sure you select JSON. All right. You don't want the P12. You want the JSON um, key type. The P12 is used for other stuff. We're going to use JSON in this case. So we create that and what's going to happen is it's going to save to your local machine. So your computer, make sure that you save this in a, um, in a secure location because you're going to need this uh, to for actually any any time that you want to uh, connect to the Firebase API in order to pull data down, you're going to need this information. So make sure that you're keeping it in a secure space. So uh, now that it's in your local drive, just uh, open it up uh, separately in a text editor or something like that. And then we're going to copy that information over to retool. So right in here, just copy all that data, paste it right in. And then we're going to test the connection. You get that success. You're good to go. So we're going to create a resource. So go ahead and create an app uh, and I'll show you what the data looks like. So we'll do Firestore demo. We won't add it to any folders. We'll create an app. And then within here, our query one, we're going to select the resource for Firestore demo, the one that we just hooked up to. And now there's a couple of things that we want to keep in mind here. So service type right now it defaults to firebase auth user management we want firestore so you're just going to select that and the action type that we want is to query firestore now it's going to ask you for the collection so if you have data already great we're actually using a pokedex data set right now so once we select that we can hit the preview button and we'll be able to see all the data that we have within firestore um, within the pokedex collection so over here you can see we got bulbasaur Pokemon number one, uh, primary type grass, poison type as a secondary. So we'll go ahead and save that. And we can say get Pokemon is the query name. And we just drag over a table from the right hand components. And that's gonna just populate. And you can easily see here, this is everything that you're gonna want. So uh, just to show you one more real quick thing. So let's duplicate this get Pokemon query. And we're gonna say get electric Pokemon. And so this is where we're going to use this where clause. All right, this where clause, uh, what we want to do is we want to filter it by a specific field. So our field name is called primary type. And then we want this value to be electric. So we hit the preview button, make sure we're getting data back. And we can see a bunch of keys over here. So we hit the save button, save and run. And then let's replace this with get electric Pokemon. And then in here, we'll see Voltorb, Electrode, Zapdos, Jolteon, you know, all these guys are here. And all you had to do was add an aware clause to your API call over to Firestore. We also see Pikachu over here, your nice 55 attack, HP 35, kind of squishy, but that's okay. We all love Pikachu. It's, it's not Pikachu's fault. It's okay. But anyhow, so this is essentially what you're going to do in order to connect um, your your retail account over to Firebase. Um, if you did run into any issues, feel free to drop a comment in the section below. Uh, we're always here to help, so don't be shy. If you did like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Uh, it's the best way to support this channel uh, and help us continue to make content for you and Scrappy Bootstrappers just like yourself uh, who are looking to create applications using low code or no code tools or just to automate their daily operations to make themselves uh, more efficient. Right, so we have a lot of videos coming up as well, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell so that you get notified when we release the next video. But I'm a guy called Joe. This is Bootstrapping Tools. Let's build. It's been a pleasure. And we're out.